Hi guys, in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to assess and clean leather. When we are talking about real leather, it's important to know what it is. It's actually a flexible material that is made of animal skin and after that it had several chemical treatments. We have of course different types of automotive leather. For example, on classic cars you can find the Connolly leather which is really full aniline and very absorbent. You have to be really careful when using products on that. These days, in modern high quality automotive leather, we are talking about semi-aniline leather, which already has a top coat. Nowadays, manufacturers use artificial leather to reduce cost. For example, BMW is using Sensatec, which is fully artificial, and to clean these surfaces, you will need another approach. Today we are working on Mercedes-Benz Fine Napa leather. It has around 25,000 kilometers and it's in need of a first proper clean. What I like to do before I start my cleaning process is to check for any kind of cracks or any kind of seam wear. Uh, in this case all is fine. You have to know when you have a lot of cracks in the leather and you have a lot of dye that could have um, yeah, been, been gone. Um, leather is like paint. Once it's done, it's done. You can re-dye, but in most cases it's back to the upholstery. Before I start cleaning the leather, I like to have it as clean as possible. So all type of debris in the crevices I will remove with the vacuum cleaner. Um, when it's really bad, I like to use compressed air. In this case, it's pretty fine. So I will use the vacuum and get it out. I like to move the seat around because I like to get the dirt out as well here in between the top and the bottom part. Now I will start cleaning the leather. So in this case, I will use leather cleaner mild because it's not that dirty. We also have leather cleaner strong. Um, I like to assess leather like paint. Try to use the least aggressive method to start with. If it gets the, the job done, that's more than sufficient. Um, we also have this pump sprayer because I don't like to penetrate leather with water. And for sure, um, when you have ventilated seats or perf which are most of the cases which are perforated seats you don't want to soak that with water so use a brush use a pump sprayer and make a nice amount of foam on your brush and work in sections so i'll start by doing the circular motion you don't need to press the brush just give it a light brush and let the product do its work. Now, for taking off the dirt or the things that are into the leather, I like to use three microfibers. I have one first white microfiber, I have a second damp microfiber, and I have a third dry microfiber. So, first things first, dry one. Do it in one motion. And because you have a white microfiber, you can see the dirt. Now we are left with some residue that's on the leather. That's why I take a damp microfiber and I remove any leftover residue of my cleaning process. I'm now going to use the third microfiber to give it a final dry wipe. So now we are left with a matte finish just as it has left the factory. I'm going to work my way up the seat and I'm doing it in sections because I don't want to dry out the product when you do a whole seat in once. As I work my way up, my brush gets dirty. That's why I have a bucket with me with warm water to rinse my brush. Thank you. 
I have moved to the driver's seat, which is probably the dirtiest seat of the car. Doing a small section and I will show you the 50-50 afterwards. I like this um, leaf shaped brush because use your thumb and with this you can get into all the crevices as well where you also have a lot of dirt buildup. Okay, I'll remove the tape and show you how it looks clean versus not clean. Use an inspection light and double check if you didn't miss a spot. The process, because it's leather, is similar to the seats. However, I will give you some tips. Because we are using here a very small and rounded area, and when we are using products with a brush, this can result into splatter on very sensitive areas of your dashboard. So, to prevent damage, you take a towel, you put it on the sensitive parts before you start cleaning your steering wheel, and then you're good to go. I use foam. Dab it on the steering wheel and lightly agitate it. Don't over push. Be careful not to soak buttons. You can also use uh, small brushes or an, an old toothbrush. Um, this will do the job as good as this one. This is what I mean by protecting your surface when you have these, when you push or you are too enthusiastic. A lot of stuff can land on sensitive parts. Okay, now we have agitated the steering wheel with the product. I'm gonna use again a white microfiber towel and remove it in one direction. Inside, outside. Damp towel, couple of spritzes of water. Remove the residue. And I take my third dry towel for a final buff. So now we have a non-sticky steering wheel and I will show you the difference by removing the tape. Two front seats are done now. I have four more to go. That's all for me today. I'm out. Ciao.